Located in a swampy stretch of the coastal prairie, this state park may feel more like Louisiana than Texas to most visitors, but that's just the unique beauty that folks like Park Superintendent Chris Bishop love so much. This is just, just absolutely beautiful. Not necessarily what people think when they think Texas, right? Absolutely right. Uh, Brazos Bend is a little different from a lot of the other parks. The ecosystems are super diverse, and so are the animals. One in particular that creates quite a draw. We're, we're known as the home of the American alligator. The big, massive alpha predator down here, right? That's right. Yep. You want to hike, bike, or camp with the alligators? Well, this is the park for you. On a sunny day, chances are the alligators will be out in mass. Any estimate on how many alligators are actually here in the park? Well, what I've heard is adult alligators, so six feet or larger, about 300. Uh, smaller than that, no one knows for sure, but thousands. Wow, okay. Like everywhere you look, they're there, you, whether you see them or not, right? There could be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of gators. And the biggest ones here are over 13 foot long. Here at the Nature Center, they're a bit smaller. Oh, the little fella like that. He's smiling. But I think it's time to go find his older brothers out in the wild. Man, all these signs are making me more and more nervous. Maybe this isn't a job for the day tripper. Yeah, let's call in a better expert. Good day, mates. Listen, we're out here at Brazos Bend State Park, the natural habitat of the American alligator. It's not my natural habitat. I'm from the outback, namely outback of my parents' house. Anyway, they told me to get a job, and so I'm here to show you some American alligators in the wild. It sort of makes me very nervous. Um, never actually been around an alligator before. This guy just seems to not care at all about these alligators. He's just sort of willy-nilly running through here. When that tree was, oh no, there's one right here. Wow, whoa, he's moving. This kind of makes me hyperventilate a little bit. When, uh, oh good, good, he's leaving. He's going back into the marsh. So um, probably means we should keep moving too. I sort of feel fenced in. Uh, uh, did the producer double check how thin this pathway would be? If, if we got surrounded right here, there'd be an alligator buffet uh, serving alligator chet right here. Can we go back to the car yet, producer? Uh, nah. Oh. Let, let's keep going. Then down, down, we, we saw. Okay. Okay, we are right on top of this one. And when you're this close to a wild animal, you have to be extra cautious. It could attack at any moment. But this is a pretty good distance to make the observations we need to make. We're on the other side of the lake here. But you do realize it's a wild animal. Um, any closer, it could bite me. Is that a log or a gator? Just, I saw something right over there. Okay, it's a log. It's a log, just checking. We, ah, oh, there's a gator, 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 gator. Um, um, I'm gonna turn around now. As you can see, there's an alligator here. He has alligator claws, alligator teeth, and he could rip us into shreds with just a small turn of his head. Um, he was much safer when we were still in the van. Oh, is anyone else feeling a little uh, lightheaded? I just, oh, there's another one. Okay, that guy was terrible. Let's hit the trails on our own. Wow. I tell you, we walked up on this guy, my heart started pounding, my heart is still pounding. Like, when else do you see alligators that you get this close to, right? This is a completely wild animal. I don't know what it is. Some dumb instinct inside of me wants to go and touch its tail, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give in. We were walking down this pathway and not, you know, six feet from the trail is a mama alligator with her babies. If you start playing count the baby alligators, you get up to like well over a dozen. All right, this is the biggest one we've seen yet. And he's facing the trail. I think that's the sound that means not today, guys. I didn't sign the waiver. I do not want to be on TV. Okay, I made it. Y'all's turn next. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> We're going to cheer around. We'll go now this may make many nervous, but in 30 years of the park's existence, alligators have never harmed a human. We think of alligators as being this sort of vicious killer, but you come here to Brazos Bend, you get this close to them, and they, they really don't care. They don't want to eat us any more than I want to eat a rubber tire. All right? They're, they're just enjoying this park like we are. 
but it's still a good idea to keep your distance. Now the park's second biggest attraction is something completely different but equally fascinating to me, the night sky. And inside the park, you'll find the George Observatory and the Houston Museum of Natural Sciences massive telescope that's here just for us. Here's expert Josh Roan. Oh man, this is awesome. This is, this is much bigger than I expected. Yeah, this is our 36th inch research telescope. It weighs about 10 tons. <laughs> We're pretty proud of it. What kind of what kind of stuff's being done out here with this? Well, we're open to the public every Saturday night. Uh -huh. Anyone can come out and actually look through the eyepiece. We're one of the few observatories that is for visitors first. Uh, otherwise, we would be nowhere near Houston oh. or in a humid place like this. <laughs> we have city kids from inner city of Houston come out, and they've never seen a star, let alone a constellation. It's just their eyes light up. Oh, that's awesome. I can totally understand that, as starry skies still fascinate me. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com.